live from the Ring of Honor Dojo in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Joe Dabrowski. One-on-one -on -one action on tap this week. Let's get some pre-match comments from both competitors. How could he reject me? Me? Look at me. Doc Draper, you made the biggest mistake of your life. Don't you worry, you look pretty face there, sweetheart. You got a problem. I'm the man to solve it. The name is O'Shea Edwards. I get paid by the job, not by the hour. So don't worry, I'll calmly execute that old country club boy of yours. You know, the day I was born, my parents decided to call me Dak Draper. For my whole life, sports writers have been making it a hobby of giving me nicknames. The Rocky Mountain Rooster, the Denver Don Juan, the Colorado Casanova, the name that brings the shame, and most importantly, the Mile High Magnum. So future of honor, you better be ready for the Mile High Magnum, because if you're not, shame on you. How dare you, how dare you reject me? Well, clearly as this matchup starts out, it's O'Shea Edwards on the left, that is Amy Rose. In the corner of O'Shea Edwards opposing Dak Draper on the right. As O'Shea very calmly explains to Dak that he's going to have to beat him up. Dak Draper does not seem intimidated. Code of honor offered. And a most unique acceptance. Perhaps a begrudging respect from both athletes. As it seems to me there has been a personal issue between the two that was created potentially this weekend at the Tojo, if not in their past. Amy Rose apparently has been rejected by Dak Draper at some point. Dak Draper calls himself God's gift to sports and certainly wouldn't surprise me. Have you felt that way towards women as well? Draper gets underneath O'Shea Edwards to get the advantage on a very intense opening collar and elbow and words exchanged. Clearly, there's personal animosity here that stretches far beyond your typical competitive spirit that we see week to week here on Future of Honor on ROHWrestling.com and throughout our social media. O'Shea Edwards from Mount Vernon, New York, but residing in Atlanta, GA. Of course, the One Fall Power Factory doing great work for Ring of Honor down in Atlanta. Nobody moves on that collision. O'Shea Edwards originally trained, however... as O'Shea dares Draper to follow through with uh, an attempt to knock him down. And Draper with a drop kick. Takes O'Shea off his feet, was about to say O'Shea trained by Robert Gibson of the Rock and Roll Express Hall of Fame legendary tag team as Draper drops the knee. And a lot of, uh, a lot of celebrating here. A lot of alpha male type pride as Draper now elevates himself. Wait a minute, Amy Rose distracts Draper who gets dropped face first. And that landing could have been a lot worse. Draper could consider himself lucky, as odd as that may sound. Edwards from behind. They say every rose has its thorn. Certainly Draper may have found that out the hard way. Edwards called by many the silver tongue devil throws a mean right hand takes a lot of pride in his striking game and notice him measuring draper making every strike count he runs his mouth he hits you hard He'll not just beat you up, but he'll he'll insult you while he's doing it. Draper fighting to his feet. And Draper's had athletic success his entire life, but I'm not sure if he's ever been opposed by someone quite like O'Shea Edwards. Edwards, a collegiate offensive lineman as well, so 
Athletics came naturally to him as well as Draper. Draper may have felt uh, very confident coming into this matchup, but this may be more evenly matched than Draper perhaps expected. Draper battling free from that what looked to be a nerve hold. Elevates himself, but got caught. Almost a duration of a standing backbreaker. I don't know if I've seen that before. Driving in the knee, but keeping Draper in his grasp so Edwards can do it again and again. Follow a slam connects. Very uniquely done. See Amy Rose getting her uh, verbal jabs in. O'Shea says he's paid by the job, not by the hour. I don't think he's going to make this a time limit draw. There's that offensive lineman background coming into play. Edwards measures Draper. Nobody in the corner. Draper, who has excelled in football as well as wrestling. That success as a young child helped uh, lead to that chip on his shoulder as Draper fires away the Mile High Magnum a hair quicker than Edwards at this point in time. Edwards connects with the knee. Amy Rose cheering Edwards on. You gotta wonder if there's something about Amy Rose that perhaps Draper didn't agree with, maybe didn't like, maybe her personality lends something to be desired. After all, she switched allegiances mighty quickly. Look out. The go behind by Draper trying to elevate O'Shea, but doesn't pay off. Gotta wonder if the winner will get the girl in this situation. Will the winner want the girl? Is the girl just paying O'Shea Edwards to beat up the other guy? So many questions. And wait a minute, Draper, a, a flying Oklahoma roll. We're innovating a lot here in this matchup. Springboard, nice back elbow. Draper's a big boy. Don't expect him to fly that gracefully, but he did. O'Shea Edwards didn't see it coming. Draper starting to feel it. One man flapjack nicely done. And Draper trying to psych himself up, but you see just having problems maintaining that vertical base. Shame on you, that's the calling card of Draper. Hits a rocker dropper. O'Shea Edwards is not moving, but Amy Rose. Oh, did not want to see a egg on her face twice. Protects her investment in O'Shea Edwards. Draper, wait a minute. I don't think, I don't think she's over that rejection. Maybe, well, maybe not. A distraction here, hook of the trunks. And O'Shea only gets an ear fall. That mental manipulation of Amy Rose may have backfired because here's Draper waiting for O'Shea. Sit out, powerbomb. And that'll do an impressive showing by Dak Draper, the man who's been an all-star athlete since the age of eight. Let's check it out one more time. O'Shea is a Big man in his own right, but just got leveraged up, dropped down. You see the foot over the shoulder for good measure. Dak Draper gets a victory, and you got to wonder if this will affect the payoff by Amy Rose. Did not get revenge for that rejection, but will we see the code of honor on the flip side? Well, we're not going to see it, but we will see you. Next time for more Future of Honor Friday, I'm Joe Dombrowski. Thanks for watching.